Hey guys, what's going on? Nick here with Nick's Guns and Range. Today I have a Springfield Armory XDS 45 ACP Mod 2 with a 3.3 inch barrel. Have a Olight PL Mini 2 Valkyrie and a Crimson Trace CT 500 with the 5 MOA on this bad boy. Still trying to get everything sided in good. But I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick little review on this gun for you guys. So, starting off, you have a thumb safety right here located at the rear of the grip. Then you have your standard almost in a way like a Glock trigger safety with the blade. Nice shooting gun, guys. Very sh Honestly, I'm in love with this thing. For what it is to be a subcompact 45, this thing shoots flawlessly. I've ran into no issues with this gun so far. I've let some of my brothers shoot it. I've shot it some. It's actually pretty damn good of a gun. It's very flat shooting, very smooth. Now, I figured I'd, I'd go ahead and shoot some of these wood targets I have out here. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. We have two 30 grain S&B 45 ACPs coming out of this thing. Mag one out the way. Just toss it on the ground. I'll pick it up soon. Have another mag right here. Let's go, guys. Let's see if I can hit that steel target at all. Yeah, this thing's a little off. Nailed that thing right dead center. Let's see about you. Right on. All right, I'm going to load her back up, guys. Shoot out some more rounds. Might try and see if I can't go ahead and adjust this red dot with some of these rounds I have going on here. All right, guys. Got a second magazine loaded up in this thing. Have six rounds. And one thing I did want to mention real quick, this comes with two magazines. A six-round magazine with the thumb grip extension right here and a standard five-round magazine. So without further ado, I'm just going to shoot these targets pretty up close. Again, I'm trying to adjust this red dot here on the fly, still trying to get everything worked out on it. One thing I am finding with this red dot is that I'm able to get some accurate shots depending on what I'm shooting at and the size of the target. But if it's a smaller target, such as like that little six inch still plate over there, I'm gonna have issues with trying to get any type of shots out on it. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get out here and shoot some more. All right, so that dot definitely needs to come down some. I'm going to adjust this dot down some, guys. Give me just a minute. There we go, guys. Right where I was aiming, it hit right there. No problem. Got a decent little grouping in right there, too. So, I mean, it's kind of within where it needs to be. Still going to make a couple little slight adjustments to it, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, got another mag loaded up. Made a couple quick adjustments. Going to see if it's any more accurate. Going to see what it does. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and shoot this still a little bit. If I can. There we go, guys. Got it pretty much on point now. Yeah, it's pretty much on point. I like that. That's very nice. So real quick, guys, I do want to apologize. I, I do know that I am looking down the uh, side a good bit, but I'm just trying to check and make sure that I do indeed have this red dot set how I need it and how I want it. Um, I'm still tinkering with it here and there, but I'm going to get this thing put in place before this range session's over. I've got plenty of ammo right here, as you guys can see. So uh, we're definitely going to keep shooting. Um, one thing I will note, this is a very light pistol, guys, even completely loaded. And everything I have on this thing, this thing is com it's very light. And it's pretty accurate, too, just to be a small little 3.3 inch. It's not that bad. But without further ado, guys, give me about five minutes or so, and we'll get back to shooting. All right, guys, we're back out here again. I've got the six-rounder put in here. I've got a five-rounder on my belt gonna try and hit this still some more 
made a couple little fly adjustments on the optic gonna see just where we're at and what we're doing with it but otherwise i'm gonna dump this mag and the next mag and i'll go to the final review and final thoughts on this gun i will say guys probably about to curse myself when i say this but i feel like this is one of the only guns beside the sig and the glock that i have reviewed on this channel so far that has not had a single misfire i haven't had a failure to feed i haven't had a jam none of that without further ado guys i'm gonna send it down range let's see where's that little dot at huh <laughs> Hit the side of it. All right, six is out. Five is in. Not bad. You know what? I'm shooting another mag through it. Now guys, one thing I do recommend, if you're gonna put an optic on your gun, buy the little lasers that you can put inside your magazine or into your firearm itself. And you can basically use like a bore laser to sight in your, your sight. Obviously you need to do that to whatever type of range you wanna be shooting at. Usually I'm shooting around 15 to 20 yards. That's typically what I'm shooting at. But I would recommend buying a little laser. They're like six to nine bucks online. Maybe with shipping, you're paying 15 bucks. But to be able to actually sight in your red dot sight and not waste ammo like I'm just doing, guys, that's a godsend. And I need to invest in one of those. All right, guys, last two mags. Let's go ahead and dump them. Five rounder going in, six going in the pocket. There we go guys, I'm loving shooting this thing. It's a good gun, like I said, definitely need to invest in one of those laser bore sights to stick in here and completely sight in this red dot optic so I'm not wasting ammo. All right, guys, without further ado, this brings us to an end with our review. I have absolutely really enjoyed shooting this gun, guys. Every time I go and shoot this thing, it's super fun. I love shooting it. It's a great gun. Trigger pulls very nice on it. And for it to be a subcompact and 45, guys, this thing really and truly does not have that much recoil. You would think it would. You really and truly would think it would, but it doesn't. Again, I have the Olight PL Mini 2 Valkyrie right here, sticked on it with the CT1500 Crimson Trace red dot sight. Again, I am going to work on getting one of those little laser bore sights just so I can completely sight this thing in around 15 to 20 yards. But other than that, guys, I bought this gun on sale from Palmetto State Armory. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. For what I paid for this thing, I got it on sale. I think it was $3.59 on sale with tax and all. I paid $4.55. So paying $4.55 for something like this, I got the Olight and the CT off Amazon. The CT I couldn't get on Amazon. I had to go to SAR USA. Got that for $100 and got the light for $79.99 on sale. All in all, I've probably got about, I don't know, maybe... $800 tied into this gun, especially with the mag holders and everything I have for it. But other than that, guys, this is a great gun. If you're in the market for a great subcompact and you want something that's 45 ACP, I recommend this gun 100%. All in all, I give this about a 9 out of 10. The only reason I give it a 9 out of 10 is I don't have two of them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope that you might have found anything I've informed you on educational. 
So if I did, be sure to leave me a like, a comment, and if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, guys.